welcome, 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 welcome to the Tonight Show. You're here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Uh, well, guys, this is nice. Earlier tonight, the Bidens hosted the president of South Korea and his wife for a state dinner at the White House. Yeah, Biden wanted to meet the, with the most powerful people in South Korea, but BTS was busy. So... <laughs> but the... But the state dinner was fun. Uh, the South Korean president was nodding off because of the jet lag, and Biden was nodding off because it was 6 p.m. <laughs> and, and... It's late. It's late. I, I saw that the guests were served Maryland crab cake, fennel and cucumber slaw, and a yellow squash soup. Yeah. <laughs> then, like every other fancy meal, everyone hit up a McDonald's immediately after. A like, you know, quarter pounder, starving. Well, people are talking about this today. Disney filed a lawsuit against Florida Governor Ron DeSantis for waging a, quote, relentless campaign to weaponize government power against the company. Yeah. In an official statement, the head of Disney's legal team said... <laughs> Wow. My God. Thank you very much, Donald. I'll take a shot. Oh. <laughs> duck. Duck. Go duck my... Go duck Go duck my... Yeah. That's right. DeSantis will be represented by the Florida Attorney General, while Disney will be represented by She-Hulk Attorney at Law. <laughs> Disney hadn't, uh, hasn't taken a politician to court since they sued John Bolton for copyright infringement. <laughs> well, Geppetto. Speaking of Florida, Governor, apparently former President Trump is listening to insiders who are urging him to make DeSantis his running mate. I have a feeling adding DeSantis to the ticket will be like adding Mentos to Diet Coke, you know? <laughs> Meanwhile, I read that Trump is threatening to skip the Republican presidential debates. Trump was like, as people keep telling me, I have the right to remain silent. <laughs> A lot of people are telling me that. A Republican debate without Trump, even C-SPAN 2, was like, pass. Well, right now, Trump has a lot going on. He's got a new book. He's on the campaign trail, and he's still under investigation. So to find out how Trump's feeling about everything, he actually agreed to join us for an interview. So let's uh, ask him a few questions right now. Uh... <laughs> Mr. Trump, thanks for doing this. Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> Close enough. Uh, now, you... you... You've got a new book out called Letters to Trump. How much of your book did you actually read? Like a page or two pages. OK, OK. <laughs> now, the book has a lot of letters from famous people like Oprah and King Charles. What would you say is your favorite letter? The letter C. <laughs> now, your, real, your re-election campaign is in full swing. Uh, what do you think Americans say when they think about a rematch between you and Biden? I want a vape. Uh, okay, well, uh, Biden is leading you among women, independents, and seniors. Is there anywhere that uh, you've been leading Biden? Arrests. Okay. <laughs> now, you've talked a lot about all of your successes. Can you give us two examples of things that you could have done better? Don Jr. <laughs> and Eric. Oh. Back to the election. Do you think that you can beat DeSantis? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Do you think you can spell DeSantis? No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> Finally, before you go, can you do an impression of someone whose dentures are falling out of their mouth? God bless the United States. There you go. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for joining us. President Trump, thank you very much. Nice of him. <laughs> well, get this, guys. Today, a congressman from Oklahoma brought Ronald McDonald and Grimace to the Capitol. Here's, here's a photo. Yeah. Huh. Quite a fall from grace for Tucker Carlson and Don Lemon. But hey, you know, they, 
A gig's a gig, a gig's a gig. <laughs> when Trump saw Ronald McDonald was there, he's like, I'm storming the Capitol, let's go! <laughs> well, guys, uh, let's switch gears. Uh, I love the springtime, all the nature. Uh, let, let's just go around and say what we love most about spring. Uh, uh, I'll start. Uh, for me, I, I love the... Rain, rain, I love the smell of the rain. Rain, rain in my face and I'm run, run, running in place. And I'm loving the smell of the sun, sun. I love the warmth of the sun, sun, sun on my nose and the sun, sun. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> well, this is wild. Ahead of his coronation, a life-size chocolate bust of King Charles has been unveiled. Take a look at this thing. Yeah. Oh. yeah they stopped at the shoulders because they were like, I think this is creepy enough. <laughs> hey, guys, you see this? Uh, Beats is launching new transparent earbuds. Here's my advice. If you drop one, move on with your life. <laughs> Not going to find it. Move on. And finally, there's a new smart device called Companion that babysits your dog by entertaining it, feeding it, and monitoring its health. Yep, there's also a cheaper option. It's called Not Having a Dog. <laughs> <laughs> we have a great show. Give it up for The Roots, everybody! Steps, the one and only in the flesh. Senegalese, Sierra Leone, and fresh to death. Big homie and them raps the best. Well, you know me from somewhere. Never respect the quest lover. Oh, uh, bring it on, sing a song, what get a it. Show tonight. What a show we have for tonight. One of our favorites. He is the co-anchor of Good Morning America and his skincare line, Michael Strahan's Skin and Shave Routine, is available now. Michael Strahan is here tonight. Oh. One of the all-time best. I'm very excited about our, our second guest as well. She is a best-selling author whose books have sold over 90 million copies. Ooh. Yeah, a... The movie based on her novel, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, is in theaters Friday. Judy Bloom is joining us tonight. <laughs> and we got great music from Black Thought and L. Michaels Affair, oh. featuring Kirby. Let me get, bud. Thank you. Guys, right now it is time for tonight's show, Hashtag. Here we go. Hashtag. Hashtag. Now, this week I sent out the hashtag, if I was president, and I asked you guys to tweet out something funny or weird things that you would make happen if you were elected president. Within minutes, it was a trending topic, so thank you all for playing along. Now I thought I'd share some of my favorite If I Was President tweets from you guys. Uh, here we go. This one's from at Nico Seattle. He says, I would make the Monday after the Super Bowl a national holiday for celebration and recovery. We can get behind that. Come on. This one's from at Jenna2NYC. She says, people who do CrossFit would not be able to discuss it with anyone not in CrossFit. <laughs> This one's from at Molly's mom. They say, I would make it mandatory that all cereal to come in resealable plastic zipper bags as opposed to the folded wax paper that they are still using. Yeah. Yes! Exactly right. This one's from at R. Stare. He says, I'd make all senators wear wigs like British Parliament, but <laughs> they'd be mullets. That's fun. <laughs> Uh, this one's from, speaking of Mullis, this was from at long haired guy 31. Oh. He says, if any McDonald's in the country has a broken ice cream machine, they shall fly their flag at half mast. 
Disgrace! How dare you? Fix it! Mm. How dare you, sir? I scream. I scream. We all scream for ice, ice cream. cream. <laughs> it's iced cream. Ice cream. You scream. We all scream for ice cream. Good day to you, sir. Uh, this one is from at Jeff Jeff. Jeff Jeff. Jeff Jeff 55. He says, weed would be legal. I know it is already, but it would be even more illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, Jeff! Jeff. <laughs> what do you want to use it in a bit, Jeff? Jeff, Jeff. 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 Just Jeff? No, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff says Jeff. it. No, Jeff, Jeff says Jeff, it. Man, Jeff, he five, means five. it. Then make it more illegal. No. <laughs> this one's for Matt. Lacey Dawes, she says, I would make refrigerators bigger so it can fit the pizza box in it. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. What are you supposed to do with that thing? Uh, this one's for Matt. Are you excite? They say, I turned Mount Rushmore into the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> sure. Sure, why not? Uh, this one's for Matt. Van Rees Dam. He says, hot dogs and hot dog rolls would be packaged with the same number. Sure. Classic. Yeah, classic. <laughs> I've heard that joke. Yeah. yeah. What? Well, how many hot dogs you get? The eight hot dogs, right? Right. No. Yeah. And how many rolls you get? Six. What's the problem? <laughs> I think it's ten and eight. Yeah, I think you get ten. Ten, ten hot dogs, eight rolls. Yeah. Ten dogs. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So That's ten hot dogs. Ten hot dogs and yeah. Eight so, rolls. So you gotta get two naked dogs. Sure. <laughs> throw two. Throw two dogs in one bun. Yeah. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Right. Family show. <laughs> Two dogs, one bun. Yeah. Get dirty. It's a hot dog. A hot dog. Jeff, Jeff, fifty-five. Come on. <laughs> oh, God, God, God. oh, hey, Donald, Donald. <laughs> this one's from at John Cooper, twenty-three. He said, "I would regulate car companies to make the sun visors actually cover that annoying corner spot. You know the one I'm talking about." <laughs> yeah, I know that one. That one there. <laughs> Uh, last one's from Matt. Literally, hat guy. He says, Air Force One's getting a hot tub, baby! <laughs> there you have it. Those are Tonight Show hashtags. And check out more of our favorites. Go to tonightshow.com slash hashtags. Hey, hey, hey.